Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to explain the terms PPI, DPI and the resolution. I will try to make it simple so that you can easily understand it. Also in this video, I'm going to share some tips regarding preparing your files for different print on demand platforms. And if you're interested in that, let's get started. Now you might have heard these terms TPI, PPI and resolution or you might not have not heard these terms if you are you know new to this uh, business. Uh, but uh, let's just try to make it simple and easy to understand. So the DPI and PPI, the DPI stands for dots per inch and the PPI stands for pixels per inch. Well, the DPI is a print term and the PPI is a digital term. Now, the thing that uh, you might have heard is that sometimes they are interchangeably used. You know, sometimes people uh, say PPI word, but they actually mean the DPI and sometimes they uh, mean that they actually say the DPI word, but they actually mean the PPI, but they are mostly interchangeably used. But the thing is to remember is that they are not at all equal. Don't confuse them and make them equal. That's not really uh a thing so digital term and the uh, print term as you can also imagine that how can they be equal because the print term is uh, something uh, print is something on a physical pro object a physical item while the digital is uh, related to the digital screen for example the laptop screen and your computer monitor screen or you are you know mobile device screen so now that we are actually clear about the naming of these two things let's go to the next slide and the next thing is uh, the resolution now for print as i've already said dpi is a print term so the dpi is actually considered the resolution of any print or any printed object or print file for example you might have heard the 300 dpi 150 dpi 240 dpi if you are you know familiar with different uh, platforms so you might have heard these numbers and the most important thing is that this dpi actually affects the print quality so the lower the dpi the worse the quality of the print and the higher the dpi the more sharp the print will be but the uh, th remember this thing is that uh, in order to print large objects for example you might have said, uh, seen billboards or many large panaflex uh, um, prints so those uh, large objects are not actually printed at a very high dpi so you might have think the higher the dpi is better but for you know if you are going to print something very large you do not need a very high dpi and the reason is that um, these large objects are actually uh, viewed from a distance they are not viewed at a very close range so that is why it's not really important to use a high dpi for very large prints now it is going to be very helpful if you are you know just uh, selling large uh, print uh, objects for example on Redbubble you are selling two way covers or maybe uh, those wall tapestries and other similar type of things whenever you are selling or trying to uh, create a design for something that is going to be viewed at very close range you need to uh, you know pay attention to the dpi the higher the dpi the better it is so that's one thing very important now for the ppi the, that ppi is uh, actually going to be used in uh, the term of resolution for digital images and especially it is used in uh, you know computer screens or any device screens or especially in terms of camera so the horizontal and vertical dimensions is called the resolution for example here on this screen you can see that uh, this 1080p resolution is whenever we are, are seeing that this thing is 1080p resolution this thing is 4k resolution so that is the term reference to the horizontal and the vertical pixels in that particular size for example this laptop screen is actually 1080p or for example the video that you are seeing and you have you can view it at 720p or 1080p or maybe 480p if you want uh, but the thing is that that refers to the uh, horizontal and the vertical pixels so how many pixels are in the horizontal direction and how many pixels are the vertical di direction so that has nothing to do with the inches so the term ppi pixels per inch is irrelevant nowadays because you cannot measure actually physically measure the pixel in terms of inches for example a mobile device let's say 7 inches it has a resolution of 1080p so the 1080p pixels are 1920p pixel in the horizontal direction are actually incorporated in that 7 inch screen but if the same thing is on the computer screen let's say 19 inches or 17 inches computer screen or maybe 32 inches screen so there that 1920 pixels are in 
and you know covering the 32 inch area or actually not the 32 inch area because uh, that's the diagonal uh, length but anyway you can understand that as you compare the computer or a computer monitor or a, uh, you can say that mobile device screen they are not the same size and yet their pixel dimensions can be the same for example 1920 by 1080 so that's really irrelevant in this our print on demand business so now that we are clear that whenever we are talking about the resolution we are talking about the dpi for print not for the camera resolution or pixel resolution and now let's me uh, show you why it is important now here on this uh, T public upload page you can see that their requirements are uh, shown here and they recommend that 5000 by 5500 pixels is a uh, you can say a suitable file size for their their platform and same is the case with the uh, much by amazon let's go to the much by amazon so on the much by amazon for different print objects different printing they actually mention the size in pixel 4500 by 5400 and same is with the rest of the objects different pixel size so they may uh, they mention the requirements in pixels now that is very important to keep in mind and let's go to the printful so on the printful on their templates they do not mention the size in pixels they mention the size in inches so uh, you know file size is 10 by 12 inches same thing with the rest of other thing if you see uh, any of the other products on printful you will uh, see the recommended the file size requirements to be in inches now there are two different things mentioning the requirements in pixels and mentioning the requirements in inches now here is the thing when uh, you have to take care about the dpi whenever you do not know the size in pixels you have to use the 300 dpi just use it 300 dpi but if you are uh, if you know the size of your print in you can say the pixel as in the case of this tea public or in the case of much by amazon or maybe in, i think in the red bubble case they also mention the size in pixels whenever you know the size of the pixels dimension of your image you do not have to worry about the dpi of your image and let me you know show you with an example here so these are the two uh, files uh, two designs they are both the similar but as you can say, uh, see by the name of the file that is this one is in inches and this one is uh, in pixels uh, now let's go to the document setup now this inches the uh, file size is actually 15 by 18 inches and the dpi that i mentioned here is 300 dpi and uh, this pixels file is actually if you go to the document setup is again 4500 by 5400 pixels that is the recommended size of much by amazon and I am using 300 dpi let's just uh, let me show you what happens if I change the dpi in case of uh, you can say that actually let, before I showing you that changing the dpi let me show you when I export what happens so this is a pixels image and if I go to the file and export the size that comes up is actually 4500 by 5400 that is equal to the requirement of our much by amazon and this is the size of the documents that I have created okay now if I go and change in the document size and maybe let's say I have created it in the maybe 72 in uh, 72 dpi okay let's uh, go to okay and then again go to file and export again it's the size is the same 4500 by 5400 now the changing the dpi to 72 does not did not change actually our print dimension the final size output of our image because the document we have created was in pixels now if we had created the document in inches as in this case and if I change and uh, let me show you now if I go to the file and export now the size is 5500 by 5400 pixels that is the correct size that is the required size by much by Amazon now if I go to the document setup and change its dpi to 72 maybe okay and then go to the file and export now you can see that our size the file the exported file size is going to be different that is not the required size by much by amazon so that is very important whenever you are preparing your designs or artwork in the in inches art in inches uh, document size and you are choosing inches for your documents make sure that you choose the 300 dpi that is uh, highly recommended you should choose the 300 dpi if you are going to use the inches as units for your uh, you can say that you know document size 
This is going to give you the correct size when you export your artwork in the form of a PNG image. Now another thing that you can do if uh, is that if they provide the templates as in the case of this much by Amazon and Printful, they provide the templates to use their templates. You know, don't you will not have to worry about anything regarding the size of the uh, you know your document size and the using the right TPI or whatever. Now sometimes you want to use the same size for all of the products all of different actually much by amazon actually all of the different marketplaces so because the thing is that uh, much by amazon is very strict regarding their pixel size dimension so even if you increase the size by just one pixel they will not accept it now if you are main uh, marketplace is much by amazon uh, you will are most likely to you know prepare the file size files in their recommended dimension and then upload the same thing on other platforms and on other marketplaces now that can be okay if you are uploading on t public or spreadsheet or a similar type of website but if you are uploading it on the printful or in your own shop you might have to consider you know changing the dimension because that will in the most cases could not be suitable to be used on this platform now if I just summarize the whole thing in a few words that is going to be that DPI is very important when you know, do not know the size of your image in terms of pixels. If you know the size of your image or the print in terms of inches make sure that you use the 300 DPI otherwise DPI simply does not matter in your print files. You just have to prepare the files according to the pixel dimensions that the you know, platform recommends. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you in understanding this. If so, make sure that you like the video. If you do not understand it and if something is very confusing, you can ask me in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer those questions and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.